Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include UK to pay an additional 1.5 billion to the European Union. Meanwhile, Brussels proposes a 1.7% increase in salaries. The three amigos go to Oslo and Hungary is given a carbon emissions waiver. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. First, from our homepage, the Office for Budget Responsibility has announced that Britain will pay £7.3 billion to the EU in 2012-13, a significant increase from the previous £5.8 billion. Hmm. Interesting, that doesn't look like much of a pay freeze. I wonder which year Mr Cameron is trying to negotiate a no increase in EU budget for. Just out of interest, I've calculated the cost of EU membership to the UK and I've done it in two ways. Based on a population of 65 million people, it is a contribution of just over £107 per person, or £19,178,082.19 a day. Salary increases are to be the topic of conversation at this year's EU Christmas party. Apparently, Commission kleptocrats have decided to award a salary increase to all EU officials across member states. Of course, there are the usual blatherings about purchasing power and reduction in real terms. Let's not forget that folks working for the EU, and there are tens of thousands of them, are paid much higher salaries than they would receive in commensurate roles in the private sector. The Rumpoy Schultz Barroso bandwagon is rolling into town. Well, the city of Oslo, actually. These three stalwarts of the EU Commission have travelled afar to collect their prize of gold, thanks and euros. The visit will see the trio receive the Nobel Prize on behalf of the European Union. The Nobel Committee said that, despite the current grave economic difficulties and considerable social unrest, the EU had done much to consolidate peace in Europe. Watching the Greeks in action, smashing Athens to bits, you get a real sense of the great work these three chaps are doing. Seven million free ETS allowance for Hungary. ETS allowances are part of the wider carbon tax mechanism. This is a great story and the carbon taxes concept can be traced back all the way to the United Nations as part of the Agenda 21 program. The crux of this announcement is that Hungary will be granted a waiver from the Greenhouse Gas Emissions Trading System, or ETS. Furthermore, it states that from 2013, power generators will need to buy their ETS allowances via a trading auction. Today in our video library, we have another BBC special report, Greece, Bust and Broken, and I've put the links below. In response to a report about 24% of the EU population being at risk of poverty, Brian Barmlin commented via YouTube and he wrote, I remember as a young, young child collecting funds for UNICEF to help end world hunger and provide clean drinking water for Africa. Here it is, approximately 30 years later and the problem is still prevalent in these countries and has expanded in the population of the EU. This doesn't add up. Somebody added up all that money we collected in the past 30 years, where did it all go? Well, Brian, that's a really good question, and somehow the figures simply don't add up. Let us have your thoughts on where you believe the money goes. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter, our Twitter username is The E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>